Apple is trying to get its mojo back. This is What's News on WSJ Live. I'm Joanne Poe. Apple's annual developer conference kicks off Monday. The Wall Street Journal reports that the technology icon will announce an overhaul of its mobile operating system for iPhones and iPads. The next version of its iOS software will have a new look that abandons Apple's longtime approach of designing icons and apps to resemble real-life objects in favor of plain backgrounds and more white space. Apple is also expected to unveil a service for streaming digital music. Standard & Poor's raises its outlook on the U.S. credit rating to stable from negative. It's a move that comes nearly two years after the rating firm stripped the U.S. of its AAA rating. S&P citing the economic resilience and monetary credibility as factors driving their brighter outlook. The ratings firm says that there is now less than one in three chance of a downgrade in the near future. However, S&P still maintains a AA plus rating on the U.S., which is one notch below its top rating. Former South African President Nelson Mandela remains hospitalized for a lung infection. It's the fourth time in the last six months the Nobel Peace Prize winner has been hospitalized. This latest health scare prompting an outpouring of concern, as well as calls from some anti-apartheid veterans to leave the ailing statesman in peace. Mr. Mandela, who is 94 years old, has fought a series of respiratory ailments due to his scarred lungs, which is a result of the tuberculosis he contracted in prison. While Mr. Mandela has retreated from public view over the last decade, he remains a symbol of reconciliation in South Africa. We'll keep you posted on all the latest news developments throughout the day on What's News on WSJ Live.